This is my life story. Now the situations in this story actually took place in real life. So I had to alter some of the names just to keep everything at bay. And so I could prevent getting sued. The story is called My Brother's Keeper. Now this is where I live. Over here, we got my family. Not the female, but the guy sitting there. Yeah, this guy. Oh, that's my older brother. His name's Nate. AKA Lil Naughty. Now he definitely earned the street cred to be called Lil Naughty. But I'm not trying to incriminate my bro. So that's all I'm gonna say. Her? Oh, that's T. AKA? Hell, I don't know. T. <laughs> well, anyway, as you can see, she probably used to be a decent looking young lady. But that was until the streets got a hold of her. Lately, now she's just been going through some shit. But she my brother's people, so she my people's. She good. And of course, you got me. AKA, young fly nigga. Nah, I'm just playing. But I am fly though. I mean, just check out the drip. You know, I got the pendant of my dukes and I got the little tennis choker. Like, bro, I'm just feeling myself out here. Not even thinking about reality. Not even really thinking about life. Well, that is until the situations that occur later actually take place. Now, it's a crazy story, but y'all just bear with me and just stay tuned. It's about to get crazy. Now this, oh, that's Pops. Like, my mans can literally sleep through an entire war zone and still be dead ass asleep throughout the whole entire thing. <laughs> Pops cool, but over here, of course, we got my queen. My my dukes, my real OG. Now my dukes always been there for me. She always got something funny to say. My dukes ain't never taking me serious, you feel me? If I can give it a world, I definitely would. So low key, my dukes called me in the back room like, I know y'all got that little girl in that still. Y'all need to tell her to get home. Now I don't want her around here cause she a fast little girl. Now tell her to go home before your daddy wake up. He gonna be mad. Low key, I heard what she was saying, but I just kind of forgot, I guess. So I went outside to take this call, one of my little shorties and shit. So I hit her with the, you know, I'm chilling with broski, so I'm gonna hit you back, bop. You know, broski and them in there chilling, watching TV, not really bothering nobody. So I guess I didn't really take it serious. Probably should have took her advice though. So walk in, shoot the shit with bro, and boom, here comes Pops. He come in there, bro, hit her with the, you need to get this little crackhead up out of my house. My bro, like, damn, Pops, she looking like crackhead. I'm like, whoa. Pops like, y'all need to get on up out of my house, both of y'all. You know what up out of my house now, Nate? So she like, I'm leaving though, shorty. So my brother like, I'm, I'm with you, just hold on. We moved to Liberty City together to pursue our dreams of, of trading stock. So my brother and Shorty start leaving. I hear my bro walking outside. He like, you know what, man? It's some bullshit. Every time I turn around, bro, kicking me out for no reason. She like, yeah, that's crazy. But honestly, my concern is really with my pops, though. Like, I'll just be wondering. If that night he was really thinking about reality and how it is in the hood almost every night it's like damn inconsistent like did he ever think once in his mind that this could be the very last time I see my son alive I don't know I just pray for pops so I run out the crib like whoa broski I'm rolling with you. So bro hit me with the, well shit, let's roll then. So I run out like, hey look man, you gotta excuse Pops. I'm sorry, he's like, man, Pops stay pressing me. 
Man, listen, bro. Whole time I done left my cell phone in the crib on the back of the couch. Left the dog up under the couch. So I ain't got no pistol. I ain't got no phone. But shit, we need some roll-ups. So let's just hit the candy store. Let's bop. So we start scooting up the street and shit. Headed to our destination, of course. Get to the candy store, get the little cigars, nigga. We rolling up. We smoking in the alley and shit. Just, you know, just shooting the shit. And suddenly, I see a little whip pull up looking hella sus. So I'm just looking like, hey, bro, you peeping this shit? Broski, you know, he don't really think about shit. I point him out and shit, bro. Like, man, don't worry about that. Niggas just probably up to no good. I'm like, well, they rolling down in a little crazy area right now. So I'm still low-key kind of like, yeah, this shit look sus as fuck, bro. No cap. So they pull on this little road on the right. It's kind of abandoned. So that was like a red flag right there. I'm already peeping shit. So I'm like, hey, bro, peep, peep game, bro. Y'all point down the street. I'm like, peep that shit. Bro turn around like, hey, yo, who the fuck is that? Lebroski hit him with the, hey, yo, come in. So Broski started walking down the street towards little dude. I guess he seen him flagging, so he was expecting it to be like one of the little homies just playing around. I could tell bro was kind of skeptical about just walking down there, you know, without a scrap and all that shit. But I'm with him. I would have never did that shit. So I tell bro, like, hey, come here, bro. Hold on. He like, hold on a second. Go home. Dead ass told me to go home, bro. I'm like, hold on. So broski walked down the street, you know, a little further. He like, hey, son, who the fuck is that? Little nigga don't say shit. So my brother dead ass stopped like, hey, bro, who the fuck is that? And then out of nowhere, man, it's like four niggas run out of the alley and shit, start drawing down on broski. So little homie just pull out the strap like, what's that on your neck? Hey, what's that on your My brother neck? brother like, hey, hold on, you can get that. All of a sudden, pow, I hear a gunshot. I see broski kind of like, you know, oh, pow, another shot. I'm like, oh shit, they shoot my brother. Broski fall to the ground, bro. All I can just remember is like hearing the gunshots and the way it felt that night. Man, it's probably the craziest situation I ever been through in my whole entire life, bro. I felt like I just had to tell this story because I'm just trying to leave my people aware of how life can just be so short.